Well, guys, now it's time for today's guest. Sunny Anderson is a Food Network personality, New York Times bestseller, and co-host of The Kitchen on Food Network. Today, she's here to discuss her game day creation titled The Inflatium, which is a must-have for Super Bowl parties everywhere. Everyone, please put your hands together for Sunny Anderson. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, good. Sunny, I love the color. Welcome. That Thank was, you. I wish you guys could have seen hey. when the curtain was moved and you were just like, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I want to talk about these shoes, though. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, my God. These I are, want those. I've had these a couple years. I just love sneakers. It's a very inexpensive yeah. thing to be addicted to. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's not inexpensive. And it matches. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, if you just hang out online at night, you know, <laughs> and get your discount codes. <laughs> I practice never shopping online if at least I can't get like at least free shipping Fair. and five to ten percent off. Fair. Yes. Fair. Discount code. Sunny, we are so pumped to have you here. I'm We're all excited. huge fans of yours and this creation you're bringing to us is amazing. Thank Can you, you tell us what is the brainchild? Where did the Infladium come from? I like you said pumped because that's what happens here. You yeah. gotta inflate this thing. <laughs> you know what? I like to eat and I love football. And I have a show in Food Network called The Kitchen, and we'd have guests come on and build these gargantuan snack stadiums for the big game. And it was like, okay, that's cool, but I don't have cardboard, aluminum foil, or the care to sit in my garage. I don't even have a garage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at the time, so I was like, I want a snack stadium, but I don't want to make it, right? And then if I did make it, it's only going to be used once. So I put all that effort into yeah. it. It's going to yeah. get thrown away. Right. You know, it's kind of like a sesame seed, I mean, like you, or a sunflower seed. You work so hard to get it out, for and then it's just, nut. yeah, for right. nothing. Yeah. Mm -mm. So um, <laughs> you said it. So, <laughs> so I was like, you know, what would that look like for me? Uh, I want it to be reusable. Yeah. I want it to be inexpensive, because I'm cheap. You already know about my mm -hmm. discount codes. <laughs> um, and I wanted it to look like, you know, a stadium. So I I started sketching it out and realized it'd be cool to inflate it so you can then deflate it and mm -hmm. store it and use it the next time you want to. And then made some inserts for you to put all of the snacks and everything. Yeah, so take us on a little tour of the snacks actually. Yeah. Yes. Bring us here today. So actually, um, I put out a cookbook that comes with it, and this is $19.99 at Party City. And the cookbook, all the recipes are under five ingredients for game day. Mm. So these are just two two ingredient dips. This is one of the most fabulous dips ever. It's just sour cream and brown sugar. Yeah. If you, yeah, with a oh, strawberry, girl. it's like sweet and tangy. Mm. It's delicious. And then this is just whipped cream cheese with pesto oh. that you buy at the grocery oh. store. It's like nothing. <laughs> okay. Get in, yep. get in. It's a double dip. Yeah. <laughs> Double dip, who got, or you can do the dip, then the flip. You know, the, the dip, dip. dip. yeah. That's double flip. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. I'm go back in. So I did this for the first season. It did so well. This is what I get in trouble for on Food Network, speaking with my mouth full. We do it all the time. <laughs> we do it all the time here. Yeah. It did so well that I was able to design another product, which is this, which is my food truck utensil caddy. So oh, huge. Food truck. <laughs> yeah. It just oh, hangs out on the tabletop, put your napkins and your condiments in there. And then it's resting on another one of my designs, which is a table runner and a banner kit that looks like a parking lot. So you can tailgate and couchgate at the same time. So cute. Wow. <laughs> that is so, that is so fun. This is what you call couchgating right here. <laughs> <laughs> Put your feet up. And mm. these snacks are so good. They're pretty healthy, though. Yeah, you know, it's January. You know how y'all do. Yes. Yeah. Um, I said y'all because it's not me. I was going to say, I don't know. What would be your favorite Snooper, uh, Super Bowl must-have snacks? You got, well, you got to have chili. That's not a snack. Mm. Right. Um, you know, nachos. You got to mm -hmm. have nachos. Yep. Um, that's my favorite part of going to the game is like, please, extra jalapenos. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and I think a lot of people forget when you're doing a Super Bowl party, Monday after is usually one of the biggest call-in to sick work days. Uh -huh. Is it really? It yeah. is. And so sure. if you want people to get out of your house after the game is over, put on a pot of coffee oh. and then serve some dessert. It's kind of like the Pavlov for humans. Like, oh, I got oh. to go. Yeah, it's yeah. party done. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that's important. It's not just the snacking. It's how do you get people out of your house? That's or I good. might just fall asleep on your couch. Nope, that's you good, could. Good deal. You just... could. I'll lift you home. <laughs> <laughs> just squat in your apartment. You could. <laughs> yep. The Inflatium has been selling like crazy. Yeah. That's such a fun, like, a fun feeling that you've, you've inspired that. And what has that reception been like for you? Listen, it's awesome. Um, I'm a veteran of the Air Force, so um, to get into that career field early and then try to figure out what you're gonna do after that when you get out, 
you know, to travel the country and do radio, then to cook, yeah. turn that into a catering business, get on Food Network, and see everyone doing pots and pans and tons yeah. of things. You know, it just didn't feel right for me. Yeah. People would ask me, when are you gonna come out with your pot and pan line? I'd be like, as soon as Emerald doesn't, because <laughs> I like Emerald wear, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So like, yeah. why would I come out with something that's right. already out there that I like? Yeah. Um, so to just have a sketch, which any artist knows is like a rendering that you give to a real artist, uh, an engineer, and to have it come to life, and then people like it, yeah. it makes me feel really cool. It's, it's a piece of the American dream that I think people talk about, where if you just work really hard um, and don't cheat anyone and stay in your own lane, I'm not here to get all the money, I'm just here to get my money, my mm -hmm. coins, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and, and at that, like I said, I'm cheap. We worked really hard to get this to be inexpensive and under uh, twenty-five dollars. So at nineteen ninety-nine, we left some things off, which I fixed by my second invention. Right. Right. Nice. That's awesome. And then, and, and, and like the summer, you can use this as like a kiddie pool. <laughs> you, you're crazy. For your parrot. For your parrot. <laughs> you could. It, it's not a flotation, a flotation device, but when it first came out, people would send me pictures on Instagram of their dogs or their kids in there. Oh, girl, absolutely. Yes. Oh, you, can, you can take this and put it like in your pool and have your little tray in the you pool. Could. Oh. Like, oh shoot. You oh. Good. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. You could, but it won't float if you put too much in it. You so. can't put the dips in if it's floating in the pool. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm putting hot wings in here. Yeah. Girl. That's best to leave. <laughs> Just ranch yeah. dips in. Ranch hot dips wings. and hot wings. That's, That's all you need. Oh, yeah, my God. So, this is my baby, and I love it. Thank you guys for supporting it. Like, I feel like. I I start by saying I'm a veteran because I think it's important for people to know there's life in the military yeah, and then there's yeah. life after the military. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be a career per se. Um, and you can get out and still do some fun things. Yeah, you can have yeah. second act, third act, fourth act. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I'm on my sister third act, act right? Yeah. She <laughs> says sister act. <laughs> we just, we just, we just, oh, oh, are you okay? okay. Lauren Hill killed that. Well, right. What? Yeah. Oh, no, except they played the, like, the little Times Square church version. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay. Brady and I, I did karaoke last week. We did the, the, yeah. the Lauren Hill. Oh, the, yeah? It was a crowd pleaser. We, you <laughs> know yeah. you can't sing when you go to karaoke and they only want you to rap. Every, <laughs> every time yeah. I go to karaoke at this one bar, yeah. they'll be like, you want to do B.I.G.? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I want to do Mary or something. Like, no, no, do B.I.G. Right. <laughs> it was all a dream, you yeah. know? So listen, so you see, I yeah. feel like going to a party at your home, you're probably an, an, an amazing host. Yes. What, what are some tips you can give people for hosting parties to really get, like knock people's socks? All right, all right. So um, I'll say one thing, a tip that I got from my co-host in the kitchen, Katie Lee, and it, it's, it's gross, but it's smart. Uh -oh. You're gonna need that plunger in the bathroom. Oh man. Okay, put it in the <laughs> that got wow. real. You know what? That that's got real really fast. What? It's that's real. Truth that you need <laughs> that's real. Yes. You need it to say you that. Put it in a place that's visible. Yeah. And then also <laughs> oh my if God, yeah. it's real. Yeah. If people are asking you where the trash can is, you don't have enough trash mm. cans out. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. So you need yeah. to give people a place to help mm. you not clean later on. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not as good as just having like the plastic bag that's on the end of the table. Oh, that's guilty. Like, <laughs> it works. It works. And I look at these smallest. Dwayne Reed bags was like this big. I I'm do like, all it. your garbage in here, please. Yeah. Make my friends take it out themselves. Exactly. I do yeah. it. They always say that's black people's, uh, what we do for recycling. Well, you don't have to worry about us. We are always going to recycle a plastic bag. Oh <laughs> I actually have the thing on the door in the pantry that holds the old bags. Bag. Yes. Yeah, my so. bags hold bags. Yeah, my bags hold bags. <laughs> so I think, you know, having enough trash cans in the right places. Um, I think also understanding that it's a meal, it's not just a snack party, so you can start with a small bites, but by halftime, it should be something that you're holding on a plate or in a bowl, and then like I said, at the end, the dessert comes. I would never put the sweets out in the beginning, because that's a, that's a high and then a crash, and then people are sleeping oh, during halftime. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah. It, is. I mean, it could be. We'll, 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 see. <laughs> we'll see Moon we'll 5. See. Depending who's performing. If yeah. it's Beyonce, you want to yeah. get some coffee Wait, do you guys actually think yeah. someone's going to get on a stage with Maroon that's black? No. I heard no. Cardi. Well, might? Travis, no. Cardi? No, Car did I make that up? Oh, I. You think I think you're making that up? I know Travis up. is gonna get it. Somebody told me that yesterday. Both Cardi B taking down Trump for the shutdown. Yeah, that, that was all right. Okay, rewind, yeah, yeah, yeah. rewind. Yeah. I made that up. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll know. see. Maroon Five. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you already know who I think should win. Who? The Saints. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Go Saints. girl, yeah. I don't even know who's performing. Yeah. I, I don't know who's. And they're not even in. They were around. I don't know who's getting the Heisman. Whatever. That's done. 
Oh, whatever, girl. Somebody no. get something. I'm trying to figure out how you don't like men in tights. <laughs> Sweating on the field, honey. I know, I know. Um, it's my everything. I need to, we need to go out. Yeah, we do. I'm going to teach you all together. about football. Yeah, let's all go. <laughs> well, we, have a night, we have a night out planned now. But um, <laughs> speaking of Kaylee, she was on our show, which She's we loved her. her. And you've been on The Kitchen now since 2014. What yeah. has this experience been like? being on this major show and now and working with these co-hosts. It's awesome because like the onus is off of me, you know. Um, if you turn into the channel, you're like, I don't really like Sunny, you're just gonna turn it right off. So now I got three other people, just in case you don't like me, you might really like Katie, and you might really like Jeezy, you might really like Jeff, and I call it Pick Your Pony TV. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it is that we were all raised different ways in different households with different flavors. So as someone that loves food and cooking and eating and learning about different cultures, it's so cool to sit with someone that's from West Virginia right? Mm -hmm. Someone that's from the Midwest and then GZ who's multi culty and he's from all over. Right. Um, to eat those foods and flavors, I'm, I'm having a good, I'm living my best life and yes. I ain't going back and forth with nobody. Right. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. 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 Same thing with this show. Time. We yeah. bring different people. Yeah. yeah. I bring the Lord of the Rings fans. All yeah. The Do you? All the ho Hobbit lovers. See, watch I've just never for seen me. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. See, that's what see? I bring. Just purely to We're so glad you yeah. bring that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every what day. you bring? You know what I'm saying? Sass. You sass. Yeah. Okay. What you bring? The ferret you lovers. Know what I'm saying? Okay. I, people who love ferrets. Love I love me. ferrets. I want to get a ferret, but I'm not there yet. I'm like, see, well, maybe you and I can move in together and we can get a ferret. We can figure that out. I got three dogs and three cats, though. Absolutely not. And it's over. Uh, <laughs> this is a brunch show, and yes. you are a food expert. Brunching on a come up. What are your favorite brunch foods, and what are your favorite brunch spots in New York that we can maybe try out? Oh, okay. So my favorite brunch spot in New York is called Oscars. Okay. It's on Hudson and Barrow, just below Christopher Street. Um, if you're lucky to get a patio seat, sit there all day. They don't rush you or turn the table, as we say in the business. Um, it's a small little Belgian place. They got. Muscles all you can eat on Wednesdays, but brunch is everything. Okay. Brunch is everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. salty. It's the first place I went, and the side salad, I needed to make a main salad. Wow. <laughs> yeah, when, when that happens for me, it's like, what? Never like, happens for me. Okay. Never. It was so good. Um, so that place, I think another great brunch place would be in Brooklyn. It's the Stone Park Cafe Ooh. Um, in Park Slope. You could call it a cafe, but it's really great fine dining and brunching. Also good patio. Um, and I'd say that it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. What's your favorite brunch food though? Like, what do you make, or what yeah. do you like oh, to eat mm, at brunch? Oh, I love an eggs Benedict. Yes. yes. I love a Norwegian like with the salmon on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I also just love bacon and pancakes. Love it. Classic. You know, bacon and pan. Bacon. You know, but I'm always the salty and savory. Oh, me too. For right. breakfast, you have to. Yeah. So yeah. if I go to brunch with my girls, like you know, we'll order what we order, and then it's like pancakes for the tape. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 We feel so great with table cakes. Table cakes. Table cakes. I'm gonna start calling it that. Yeah. Okay, Those so. are a common phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we love, love that. Appetizer Little appetizer. Pancakes. Love it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah, my God, yeah. Sunny, we could talk about food with you all I love day. Eating. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for today. having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And everyone, make sure to pick up the Infladium available at a party city near you and catch Sunny on Food Network's The Kitchen Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same table. Woo. Yay.